I was not hallucinating. Carl saw it too. Well, then you're both nuts. You just don't get it, do you? There is something wrong with this place. Janet, honey, believe me. The sooner this place is cleaned out, the better. Now, I know we're all a little stressed out, and you with the baby and all. Oh, she's right, Bobby. You gotta move slow here. The things happen when the people who move too far, too fast. No, I'm serious. The guy that ran this place in the 30s, he was murdered. Shot by his own daughter. Then she killed herself. And that's not all. Back in the 1890s... No, now it's you who doesn't get it. You know how many crappy joints I had to play? How many drunks I had to dodge? How many cheap, no-count club owners I had to beg in order to get paid? All so I could save up enough money to buy this place. Now, I swore, honey, one day I was going to get off the road and bring the road to me. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He was right. We opened right on time, and I've never seen him so happy. I wish I could have said the same thing. Come on, sugar, drink up. I'm buying that. Honey, if anyone can drive a man to drink, it's you. Another soda water on the rocks. Mackies wanted to get to the root of their nightclub's ghostly occurrences. They turned to psychic Patricia Michelle. Hmm. It's amazing. It means, hmm. Look, I'd just as soon you and your wife wait here. Uh, Carl, can you show me the basement? Yeah, sure. I guess.
Wait a minute. You didn't see the will. You, you mean they're right? Right. About what? About everything. This this place. Look, we got to get out of here. You go. I need to be alone. There's an old story about a well in the basement. What got tossed into? What does that got to do with anything? Well, maybe everything. They said it happened a hundred years ago. A woman was found murdered. All cut up. They caught the two killers. On the day of their hanging, the first man went down without a sound. Then the judge tried to make a deal with the other. If he told where he where he put her head, he'd only get life. You bastard. Tell us. I'll tell you nothing. Wait! I curse you. And men like you, many think that they can judge me. Any man who presumes to interfere with the work of the Dark Lord shall suffer for all time. May your God help you. <laughs> they say he was hung right outside. Anything else you haven't told us? Why didn't you say something earlier? Would it have made a difference? You okay? I'm fine. We have to talk. You're crazy. Both of you, you're crazy. Now, what you're saying is in order to put things right, I gotta tear down my nightclub, dig down a hundred or so feet, and look for a well that may or may not exist. And then I gotta reunite this woman's head with her body? Come on. That's not all. I also felt a, a very strong threat, anger, directed I'm at I'm not doing it. I can't do it, and I won't do it. Mr. Mackey, you're next. What? Whatever it is that lives here is determined to punish the men responsible for keeping it here. Today, the responsible man is you. You are the owner. Wait a minute. You just wait one minute. Are you sure? Nothing can be certain, but I take this warning very seriously. Talk to your husband. <sighs> hey, baby, it's all right. We can make her something out. No, it's not that. Uh, I'm going to be issued a subpoena to appear in municipal court. Richard Lawson is suing us for damages, claims we're responsible for what happened to him in the men's room. Emotional damages, he's calling it. He wants the court to order an exorcism or shut us down. I guess Bobby made legal history. First ever lawsuit over a hunt. And for some reason, Bobby didn't want me to go to the trial. But the night it was over and the verdict was announced, I found out why. In an unprecedented ruling, the judge decided in favor of the bar's owner. The judge said the alleged ghost attack on Lawson was not the result of negligence. Therefore, Richard Lawson was not entitled to damages. 
Lawson responded by saying that any future incidents should be on the judge's conscience and not his, a charge the judge swiftly rejected. In Wilder, Kentucky, Chris Baelish reporting. Well, congratulations, Bobby. Yeah, hooray for the home team.